question is, let's say you wanted to make an audio podcast, audio book to read along with the book, like in the old days when some books used to come in CDs or USB drives. Is it possible to include this with your books? And the answer is absolutely yes. Now, let me share with you how I have done that in the past. When I first created Turn Your Passion Into Profit, I did have the idea of creating an audio version as well. So I have a six CD uh, audio. So three, three jewel cases, two CDs in each one. And it was an accompanying, it's not exactly the Turn Your Passion Into Profit uh, word for word. Um, read or recited, it's actually um, an accompanying, it has excerpts from coaching sessions, it has excerpts from workshops and commentary as a supplement to the book Turn Your Passion Into Profit. And the way that I did that, I had each separate item on sale available on Amazon. So you can buy and you can still buy the paperback. Um, of Turn Your Passion to Profit, and you could also buy the uh, CDs. And if someone purchased both, if someone purchased the um, uh, paperback as well as the CD, when it came time to place the order, I would simply go on the Amazon, on the KDP dashboard, it was Create Space at the time, and I would order the author copy of Turn Your Passion to Profit, and I'd order the author copy of uh, the CDs, and I could, uh, in that way, arrange to have both the paperback and the CDs shipped to the customer at the same time. And that's still the same process if someone uh, were to uh, want CDs. But over the years, what I found is that uh, two things. One, people aren't really buying CDs anymore. There's a whole generation of people who have no concept what that is, uh, unlike me, who has my, or had my 12,000 uh, collection of um, uh, vinyl records, but people are into downloading mp3s and more significantly as a result of that Amazon's media or create spaces uh, media arm the one that would produce DVDs and CDs that has shut down in the last year So it, that's, that's no longer an available option. So here's what you can do. There are two ways you can do it when you set up your website you can offer um, people the option of buying your book and getting an accompanying audio and you can simply have them download the mp3 of the book or the accompanying audio whatever uh, whatever it is at the same time that they order it so that they can download the pdf as well as the mp3s right from your website so that's possible that's pr probably the most a viable solution since again 99% of people are really not buying physical CDs anymore and uh, and they're simply not buying the um, the, uh, the physical products or DVDs or CDs so that's the best suggestion the other thing is um, there's a new merger between Smashwords and uh, draft to digital and one of the things that they're going to be doing is rolling out uh, the production of paperback books. So I mentioned that because they also, if I, if I remember correctly, they also have a, an audiobook feature. So uh, that's one way to create the audiobook as well and have it marketed through a reputable and established company. Uh, and since they'll, do, they'll be doing paperbacks as well as ebooks, you'll have the option of fulfilling the orders directly to the customer in paperback and um, MP3 format. And we'll wait to see if they are planning to do CDs or um, DVDs as well. I probably doubt it only because, as I said, the, in the public demand for those is sort of going down, so I don't see the business sense of them starting up a new company in 2022 and marketing CDs, but we'll see what happens. And one more thing I'll add, to actually create the audio version of your book, that's something that you can do yourself. You can check out uh, Audacity as a free program. That's the one I'm using right now actually to record this audio. Um, Audible, that's a company that specializes in audiobooks, 
Uh, you can also check out uh, fiber.com. If you don't want to voice it yourself and you want to hire a, a voiceover artist to do it, you can uh, check out fiber.com for freelancers who do voiceovers. My suggestion is, if at all possible, trust yourself, trust the passion you have in your product and do the voiceover yourself. You can have a simple setup like I have right here. I have a, a Yeti microphone that gives you good quality. I have my PC and uh, a um, pop filter and a free so software Audacity. And it, you have the ability to edit and do vo um, noise reduction and that sort of thing. So it's the voiceover is something you can do yourself. It will help you get your speaker's voice. It will help you develop and hone your talent uh, recording uh, to a microphone. So in terms of recording, that's something you can do yourself or uh, farm out to somebody else. If you have your own self-publishing question, check out this information page for the Little Flights of Fancy Writers course. To read it all, ask your question, or to enroll in the course, visit this page at www.waltgoodridge.com fancy.